Engineer 775 doing a little experiment today with a new product called a charge verter. You might have seen these. These are great. Again from EG4. It's a 5 kilowatt charge verter. Why would we need this, you might ask? Well, sometimes it's just awesome to have a standalone 48 volt battery charger. What's nice about it, it's programmable. You can adjust the volts and amps on it. And this is just one of any lithium battery will, will work great. And I just had one that was about 50%, so we've been charging it. But you couldn't hear me with it running. I also have two generators. One of the other reasons for using a charge verter is some of the lower power quality generators, but still make 240 volts, are the, you know, some of these Predators, Champions, just cheap generators that uh, your inverter might have a hard time latching onto. And so this will free up, like on a solar installation off grid, if you use a charge verter, you can free up that gen port to AC couple, use it as a smart load. We use the smart load a lot in off grid situations, and therefore you can't use a generator in that port, even though you could use it on the grid input. Anyway, this is just another option for you to have a way to charge your batteries. And this is a cool gizmo, and it's less than $400, which is awesome. And I can take and uh, I could put a, as we were joking, put a truck stop inverter on this thing and uh, <laughs> have a complete system set up with gas generators. Now, the other cool thing is this is a small, like 3,500 continuous. This is an 8,700 continuous. This one will run it full blast, of course. But this one we had to turn down the amperage, and we did that. So we're able to run, I try to run generators about 80% of their load so you're not killing them you run about 80 percent so we are running you know 2500 watts on that 2600 watts and that one just full bore no problem so it's a, another great way to keep your batteries charged if you're an off gridder and you're living on your batteries you want to have backups to backups and the charge verter is a cool way to just directly connect it to the battery or to the positive and negative bus bar that you have a battery combiner and now you have a way to charge your batteries if you get in trouble for bad weather, uh, you invited too many people over at Christmas, and um, your batteries are dead. So this is a great solution. I like it for and not having to spend a ton of money on a generator. You know, you can buy these generators under a thousand dollars and um, have a very reliable way to get your system back up and running. So. Let me, know you, let me know what you think of that. I think there's a new version out now with some different firmware, some different capabilities, but we were basically able to do what we needed to do, just the amperage down so we didn't kill the generator and charge the battery up. So if the, gen, the generator was running, well, there's enough footage so you know the generator was running, and I filmed some of the screens, tried to capture it. You just couldn't hear me with the Jenny running. That's the only problem. We like the silence of solar, but sometimes you fall back on a generator, especially if your budget doesn't allow you to buy too many batteries, but this will get you out of a jam. All right, Engineer 775, signing out.